Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, today in this video tutorial, I will be introducing a new humidity and temperature sensor that's SHT31. Now to gain more knowledge about this sensor and let's go to the website that is controlleverything.com and here we have to search for the sensor as you can see on my screen and here we go and let's see what we got here. As you can see it's a humidity and temperature sensor and these are some of its more prominent features which you are able to see on my screen. Now you can also purchase a sensor from this website right from here. Further, I will be interfacing the humidity and temperature sensor SHT31 with the BeagleBone Black and the software platform I am using is the C language. And for the code, go to resource tab and here comes the C code sample. Now you can download the C code sample as a zip file from here. And also you can have the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community. Well, let's have a look over the hardware connections we need to set up a whole new thing and let's have it. In the hardware section, first of all, uh, we need the BeagleBone Black, which you can see on my screen. And this here is an I2C sheet. It's available on the website controleverything.com. And the real reason we are using this shield is to make connections with other I2C devices. So for that, gently place this I2C shield over the BeagleBone Black and make a connection. And after that, we require our sensor that is humidity and temperature sensor SHT31. Now this here is a connecting cable. Now gently make a connection among the sensor and the cable and make sure that the brown wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and for the same reason to the I2C sheet. Now we need to power up the BeagleBone Black and there are two things we require. First of all we require a mini USB cable just like this and gently insert it over this jack and second we need a adapter, an adapter of 5 volt and here put it over this power jack. Now the last part is to provide the internet connection and for that there are two ways. First way is to provide by an ethernet cable or a LAN cable as you can see and gently insert it over this ethernet jack. And you can also use a wireless adapter which is a nano USB adapter and you can imply it. Now what do we require next is to have a look over the code. So let's interface. Now for the interfacing part we require to locate the C code and we have to log into github.com and here we have to search for the repository that is control everything community. Then we have to search for the sensor that is SHT31 and here comes the C code. Let's have a look over the instructions for the C code as you can see first of all the first initial step is to connect and set up the BeagleBone Black and all the steps to set up and connect is provided on the link that is beagleboard.org and after that we have to download or git pull the code in the BeagleBone Black and this command is to compile the C code and this is to run the C code. Note it down carefully. After that we have to go to the C code as you can see it's a .c extension file and you notice in the code we have included some of the header files and in the void make function we have created an i2c bus and a condition which will check the existence of the bus then we have to check for the i2c device and the address of the sensor is 0x44 now coming to the writing section part we are going to send high repeatability measurement command and its command msb lsb is there which is as you can see the writing section is here 0x0 uh, 0x2c and 0x06 and after that there is a delay of one second and then we had a reading section part which going to read six bytes of data which is the temperature and humidity data then we have a conversion of the data takes place here using the formulas provided in the data sheet of SHT31 at the very end of our code we have to display the output data onto the screen which is the temperature in Celsius and Fahrenheit along with the relative humidity in percentage RH. So this is a code of C for the sensor SHT31. Now what do we require is to have the practicality of this code along with the sensor and the BeagleBone Black. Now for the working environment section or the first step as you can see we have to copy this entire code of this sensor SHT31 and then we have to open up the terminal for the BeagleBone black and here we have to create a file with .c extension and then we have to paste the code and after that we have to save it then this is the command you have seen earlier in the instructions part which is to compile the code and we are compiling the code and it's successful then we have to build the code 
also and this is to run the code uh, the same command is there and we have the temperature in celsius and fahrenheit along with the relative humidity which is in percentage rh now when i again run the command there is a very little change but when i press my finger over the sensor and run the command you can see the temperature uh, changes for the both the scales celsius and fahrenheit and also the relative humidity and again you can see the changes are reflected clearly onto the screen now this is how the sensor works and it responds to the c code along with the help of a beagle bone black now what do we require is to have a look over the applications and the benefits of this sensor sht31 is the next generation of temperature and humidity sensor it builds on a new cmos sensor sensor chip the sensor SHT31 has increased intelligence, reliability and improved accuracy specifications compared to its predecessor. It has fully calibrated, linearized and temperature compensated digital output. Due to these features, it is applicable in a lot of applications such as medical appliances, IoT, automotive grade industries and a lot more to mention. Now this sensor can be purchased from the website that is called controleverything.com and you can have the code from the source tab and then you can download the code as a zip file. You can also have the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community. In the end, I just want to make it clear that for any further queries you can go to and reach us on controleverything.com and for posts and comments you can go to our community page. For articles and blogs you can have a look upon instructables.com and to subscribe more video tutorials like just like this, you can go to our YouTube channel. I hope you enjoyed this video and have a good one yourself. Thanks a lot for watching.